Okay guys, welcome back. So for this video, we're gonna be doing pour over. So for the pour over coffee, I'm using a number four Melita, and it's just a larger filter. It's what I typically use for the pour over. My ratio, I'm using a one to 15 ratio for coffee to water. So uh, I'll be doing two ounces of coffee and 30 ounces of water and it'll end up giving me about 20 or 21 ounces of hot coffee which is about you know a large cup of coffee and so the first thing that i'm going to do is rinse out the paper filter and just preheat the glass chamber and then after that what i'll do is go ahead and pour some coffee in and start brewing some coffee i do like to fold the edge Now any adjusting that you need to make to the filter, you want to do that before the coffee is actually in the filter. Because as soon as you have some weight on that paper filter and you start trying to move it, you end up ripping the paper filter. So ultimately, any adjustments that you need to make to make the coffee filter, just do it right here in the beginning. Alright, so. so this is set up pretty fine. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and zero it out. With, with my first pour, what I'm trying to do is just the wetting phase. I'm trying to get um, a bloom going. It's usually about six ounces or about one third of the total amount that you're gonna be putting in. What's gonna happen is it's gonna to start to rise up. You're gonna start seeing big bubbles start to pop up. Those big bubbles let you know that you have air coming up and that water hasn't made contact with the grinds in that area yet. So you wanna you want to chase the bubbles, okay? So uh, basically you start off with six ounces and look for the big bubbles. There's some big ones right there. I'm gonna let that settle on the first pour and as it, as it begins to settle, it'll start to kind of crack. I'm gonna give it a good shaking and just kind of help it break up essentially. So you can see here that's starting to flatten out. I'm just gonna give it a real good shaking. And that's the that's the equivalence of stirring. Some people stir, I like to shake. Okay, now I'm going to hit it with the big one. So in this one, I'm going to come through and get out any of those large bubbles that were in the past. Hopefully we washed all those out. Looks like there might be something going on in there. And this one, I'm going to try to get it into the 20s. Try to get about 20 ounces of water poured. So I'm at 22. Once it starts to settle a little bit, I'm going to actually pick it up and give it a swirl and try to catch some of the grinds that collect off the side. You can see it's starting to settle down in here and we're getting some grinds beginning to collect on the side. So I'm going to pick the whole thing up and swirl those grinds right into the center again. And then on the next one, when I'm pouring, I'm actually going to pour those grinds and see if I can get them down into the center. See if we can go ahead and finish out the water, bump it all the way up to 30. And as it's settling down, I'm going to be a little bit more careful about swirling it and just trying to maintain all the grinds evenly inside the center of the water here. 
so that none of the grinds are being collected on the side. When I'm done, I want a minimal amount of grinds on the side. I want a nice even bed down at the bottom of the, the filter. Nice even muddy bed is what you're looking for. You don't want any of that cone shaped stuff where you have all the grinds collecting on the side of the filter. You want to try to avoid that that's going to lead to an uneven extraction. So as it's coming down, I'm going to come through and just give it a couple little circles here. If you haven't already, this is a good time to just stop and smell the coffee. Okay, let's bring it in. All right, so we're coming down to the end here. You can see that the grinds are in a nice flat level surface. I don't have a lot of collection of grinds on the side wall here. You want your total extraction to be anywhere between three and five minutes. If you find that when you make your cup of coffee that it's a little bit too tart or too fruity, basically that, that'll let you know that most likely under extracted. If you find that it's too bitter, you've most likely over extracted because you have to adjust your grind size accordingly. So if you have too bitter coffee, you're probably dealing with too fine of a grind size. If your coffee is too tart, you're, you're probably dealing with too coarse of a grind size. We're all finished with our brew. Let's take a look at what our actual yield is. So the actual yield is 21.8 ounces. That's the amount of coffee that we've actually come up with out of the 30 ounce of water that we poured into. So that's about right to me. 21 to 22 ounces is usually what I'm shooting for on a 30 ounce pour. Okay, great. That's it for the pour over.